Born Curtis James Jackson III, he later adopted the stage name 50 Cent after entering the hip-hop world. At his career's peak, he had a $125 million net worth which has now become $40 million. In this video, we'll have a deep dive into 50 Cent's early life including him being a drug kingpin, music career, his dozen mansions and massive car collection. Sit tight as you and I get into it. Raised by his grandmother, 50 Cent had a rough life growing up and began rapping in the underground scene and gained tremendous popularity. He is living proof that hip-hop is as much a lifestyle as it is a type of music. He was a star in the underground mixtape circuit for several years, but the rest of the world did not hear about him until 2002 when Eminem discovered him and helped him sign a deal with Dr. Dre's Death Row Records, he shot to the limelight when his first single, Wangsta, appeared on the soundtrack of the film 8 Mile. In 2003, 50 Cent's debut album Get Rich or Die Tryin' topped the charts and broke sales records. As a result, the young rapper was constantly in the press, and his life became an open book. This was not a studio gangsta, meaning a musician who makes up stories about drugs, violence, and murder in order to sell records, 50 Cent was the real deal. He grew up on the streets of New York, survived being shot at nine times, and used those experiences to fuel his songs. As a result, critics noted that his music had a gritty edge, and they predicted that 50 Cent would be the next hip-hop heavyweight. His career skyrocketed to new heights, and he became one of the best-selling rappers of the 2010s. Along with his music career, 50 Cent began his record label under Interscope and ventured into buying lucrative businesses and producing television shows. Early Life 50 Cent grew up in South Jamaica, a neighborhood of Queens, which is a borough of New York City. It is a tough neighborhood, plagued by gang violence, it is also the birthplace of many rappers, including LL Cool J and the female trio Salt N. Peppa. 50 Cent was surrounded by violence from the day he was born. His mother, Sabrina Jackson, was only 15 years old when he was born on July 6, 1976. She turned to dealing drugs in order to support her son, and eventually became one of the most feared drug dealers in Queens. Sabrina was killed mysteriously when her son was eight, perhaps the result of a drug war. 50 Cent was raised by his grandmother, whom he adored. However, because she had nine other children in her charge, the boy spent a good deal of time on the streets. By the time he was 12, he was dealing crack, a strong form of cocaine that is smoked. As 50 Cent explained to Allison Samuels of Newsweek, he had to fend for himself because he did not want to burden his grandmother, I didn't want to ask her for a pair of Air Jordans when I knew she couldn't afford them, so I began working to get my stuff and not stress her out. The bottom line is, the obstacles that you overcome are going to determine how great you are. At age 15, 50 Cent bought his first gun, and by 19 years old he was the neighborhood drug kingpin, bringing in about $150,000 a month. He had dropped out of high school and was spending most of his time in jail, 50 Cent was also listening to his favorite musicians, including KRS, One, Rakim, and Run DMC, and trying his hand at writing his own rhymes. He dreamed about breaking into the music business but was not sure he should give it a try. When his son, Marquise, was born, 50 Cent knew it was time to make a change, he decided to stop dealing drugs and start making music. Rise to Fame Undeterred, 50 Cent continued to work on his music and signed a new record deal with Eminem's Shady Records and Dr. Dre's Aftermath Entertainment in 2002. His debut album under this label, Get Rich or Die Tryin', was released in 2003 and was a massive success, selling over 12 million copies worldwide. Since then, 50 Cent has released several other successful albums and has become a household name in the world of rap music. He has also branched out into other ventures, including acting, producing, and entrepreneurship. He is the founder of G-Unit Records and has appeared in several movies and television shows, including Power and Den of Thieves. Despite his success, 50 Cent has never forgotten his roots. He has spoken openly about his difficult upbringing and the struggles he faced in his early life. He has used his success to help others and is involved in several philanthropic activities, including the G-Unity Foundation, which provides grants and scholarships to low-income families. 50 Cent's career in the music industry began in the mid-1990s when he started rapping in Queens, New York. He gained recognition after he released the mixtape Guess Who's Back? In 2002, which caught the attention of Eminem and Dr. Dre, leading to him signing with their respective record labels, Shady Records and Aftermath Entertainment. The album Get Rich or Die Tryin' spawned hit singles such as Into Club, 21 Questions, and Pimp and sold over 12 million copies worldwide. His second album, The Massacre, was released in 2005 and also achieved great commercial success, featuring hit singles such as Candy Shop and Just a Little Bit. 
50 Cent's subsequent albums, including Curtis, Before I Self-Destruct, and Animal Ambition, were also well received by both critics and fans. In addition to his music career, 50 Cent has also ventured into acting and producing. He has appeared in movies such as Get Rich or Die Tryin' and Southpaw, and has produced television series such as Power and For Life. 50 Cent is known for his unique and powerful flow, as well as his ability to tell stories through his lyrics. He often raps about his experiences growing up in Queens and the struggles he faced, as well as his rise to fame and success. His music often features hard-hitting beats and catchy hooks, and he has collaborated with many other successful artists in the industry. 50 Cent is known for his lavish lifestyle and for spending his fortune on making extravagant expenses that money can buy. From owning a million-dollar watch collection and jewelry to purchasing real estate, let's look at how 50 Cent earns and spends his millions. Real Estate Let's take a detailed look at the various houses owned by the rapper, providing insights into his lavish lifestyle and real estate ventures. Farmington Mansion One of 50 Cent's most iconic properties is his sprawling mansion in Farmington, Connecticut. This 50,000-square-foot estate, previously owned by Mike Tyson, showcases 19 bedrooms, 25 bathrooms, and a multitude of extravagant amenities. From its own nightclub and indoor pool to a helipad and basketball court, this mansion truly epitomizes opulence. The interior of the mansion is a symphony of grandeur and functionality. Moreover, the mansion's grandeur and historical significance are a testament to 50 Cent's ability to turn his fortune into tangible assets. Saddle River Estate Located in Saddle River, New Jersey, 50 Cent Saddle River Estate offers a more tranquil and suburban escape. This palatial residence boasts seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and an array of luxurious features. The property's design combines modern aesthetics with classic elegance, evident in its marble floors, custom woodwork, and state-of-the-art home theater. The meticulously landscaped grounds also feature a pool, pool house, and outdoor entertainment spaces. Queen's Childhood Home While he may own mansions and estates, 50 Cent hasn't forgotten his roots. He purchased his childhood home in Jamaica, Queens, to preserve a piece of his history. This humble residence stands as a reminder of his journey from challenging beginnings to superstar success. This gesture showcases 50 Cent's sentimental side and his commitment to staying connected to his origins. Beyond the physical property, 50 Cent's childhood home represents a bridge between past and present, a testament to his evolution as an individual and an artist. Atlanta Mansion In the vibrant city of Atlanta, Georgia, 50 Cent's mansion stands as a testament to his diverse real estate holdings. This mansion, with its modern architecture and lavish interiors, features five bedrooms, eleven bathrooms, and a range of amenities for both relaxation and entertainment. The property's expansive outdoor area includes a pool, hot tub, and an outdoor kitchen, perfect for enjoying the southern climate. The mansion's modern architecture stands in contrast to the traditional charm of the South, making a bold statement that resonates with 50 Cent's own trailblazing journey. Houston Villa the southern charm extends to Texas, where 50 Cent owns a stunning villa in Houston. This Mediterranean-style home offers a blend of elegance and comfort, featuring six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and ample living space. With its high ceilings, marble accents, and custom design details, the villa provides a luxurious haven in the heart of Houston. The villa's bedrooms are retreats of comfort and luxury, each thoughtfully designed to offer a unique ambience. From spacious master suites featuring private balconies to guest rooms that offer respite and relaxation, every space is meticulously crafted to provide the utmost in comfort and style. Connecticut Compound In addition to his Farmington mansion, 50 Cent owns another property in Connecticut, known as the Connecticut Compound. This sprawling estate encompasses multiple structures, including a main house, goost houses, and entertainment facilities. The property's extensive grounds are equipped with a pond, pool, and basketball court, creating a private retreat that combines relaxation with recreational activities. In essence, the luxury compound captures the essence of his multifaceted personality, artist, entrepreneur, and connoisseur of fine living. Hollywood Hills Home As a symbol of his success in the entertainment industry, 50 Cent's Hollywood Hills Home offers a taste of the glamorous Los Angeles lifestyle. This contemporary mansion features sleek design elements and panoramic views of the city. With five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and a host of high-end amenities, this property serves as both a residence and a statement of achievement. The heart of the home is undoubtedly the gourmet kitchen, a haven for culinary creativity and social gatherings. An adjoining dining area, characterized by elegant furnishings and designer lighting, provides the perfect setting for sharing meals with friends and family. Cancun Vacation Home 
Even in paradise, 50 Cent's real estate ventures shine. His vacation home in Cancun, Mexico, provides a luxurious escape with its beachfront location and private access to the ocean. The property's architecture seamlessly blends indoor and outdoor living, allowing residents to enjoy breathtaking views and gentle sea breeze. This stunning property not only exemplifies his sophisticated taste but also underscores his penchant for securing real estate in some of the most desirable locations around the world. With its own private access to the ocean, residents have the privilege of stepping directly onto the warm sands or immersing themselves in the crystal-clear waters at their leisure. Equity Stake in Lucrative Businesses A rapper-turned-entrepreneur, 50 Cent has made intelligent investments that have given him hefty returns. He teamed up with Glasso in the 2000s to create the flavored water brand Vitamin Water. Coca-Cola purchased Glasso in 2007 at the valuation of $4.1 billion, earning him $100 million, as noted by Cheat Sheet. In 2017, he received a giant payout when he sold his minority stake in Effen Vodka for $60 million. Jewelry. Being a renowned rapper, 50 Cent has built a successful name for himself and deserves to spoil himself with a little bling. His go-to jewelry includes a diamond 50 pendant worth $50,000 and a $750,000 green light gang chunky diamond necklace. In 2019, he spent another $50,000 on a custom diamond necklace that spells out Sire, his son's name. Additionally, the rapper is also a fan of Cartier and owns its watches and a $178,000 Panther de Cartier ring in 18 karat white gold. Television Drama Series 50 Cent entered the world of television by co-creating and producing a drama series, Power, on the network stars in 2014. After four years of work, the cable network and Jackson signed a four-year deal in 2018 to produce various projects for their platform. The deal was worth $125 million and gave him access to all stars and Lionsgate platforms. He has also been the executive producer for the reality show Dream School. Hundreds of concert tickets. Rappers 50 Cent and Ja Rule have a feud that dates back to the 1990s, and the duo still hold a bitter grudge against each other. In 2018, 50 Cent purchased 200 front row tickets of Ja Rule's concert in Arlington, Texas, just to keep them empty, as stated by CBS News. He shared the news on Instagram, adding that it only cost him $15 a ticket and around $3,000 via Groupon, a discount site. Author the success story of 50 Cent hasn't been easy, and the rapper has never hesitated to share his stories with the world. Along with detailing his journey through music, he is also a published author of multiple New York Times best-selling books. His first book was released in 2006 and called From Pieces to Wait, Once Upon a Time in Southside Queens. His additional bestsellers include The Diamond District, 2008, The Fiftieth Law, 2009, and Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter, 2020 watch collection. Along with his jewelry, even the watches in Jackson's collection are encrusted with jewels and studs. A fan of the best, he is often spotted wearing the Audemar Pichuet Royal Oak Chandelier worth $236,000 and the $200,000 Audemar Pichuet Royal Oak Rose Gold during his appearance on the Drew Barrymore Show. The most expensive watch in his collection is the RM57-01 Turbillion Jackie Chan costing $1.2 million. As mentioned by Richard Mill, the timepiece was designed by Jackie Chan, and only 15 pieces were produced. 50 Cent has also earned lucrative earnings from his spirits business and loves to spend his millions on adding supercars to his garage. While continuing his ventures and television shows, 50 Cent has also shifted his focus back to music. He stated that the next music project would be his last full-length album. Car Collection Sometimes 50 Cent's cars can be seen flashing across the streets of LA. The successful rapper has cars from several brands like Bugatti, Bentley, Lamborghini, Maserati, and Rolls-Royce. 2019 Lamborghini Urus. The sporty SUV reflects 50 Cent's image, which is why he chose a luxurious yet sturdy 2019 Lamborghini Urus. It is one of the fastest utility vehicle in the market so far and blends a rich mixture of spectacular power in an SUV. Offering such a body type, especially when it comes to Lamborghini, is surprising yet superb. The business class interior gives it a solid edge. The 2019 Lamborghini Urus is set in motion with a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 petrol engine. The powerful engine manages to put out 641 horsepower and 634 lbft of torque. Even for a body type like an SUV, it can do a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in 3.6 seconds and reach a top speed of 190 miles per hour. Price tag: $200,000. 2005 Lamborghini Murcielago Roadster. 
When 50 Cent was at his prime with the top-charting album The Massacre, he celebrated the release of it by purchasing a neon blue-colored 2005 Lamborghini Murcielago Roadster. This LP, 640 trim has a traditional Lumbo style with bolstered seats and comfortable premium cushioning. The Murcielago Roadster is equipped with a 6.5-liter V12 engine producing up to 571 horsepower and 479 lbft of torque. As per the official press room, it can do 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds and has a top speed of 199 miles per hour, price tag? $319,000. 2012 Gold Bentley Molson. Most of us have seen how 50 Cent has a crazy hobby of possessing gold chains and rings, and this didn't stop until now. He once added the 2012 Gold Bentley Molson to his car collection. This 2017 Bentley Molson features tones of utility and different services, which adds a cherry to the cake. Its satellite-based multimedia system is tech-savvy. The interior flaunts intricate craftsmanship, while the exterior marks his presence with a gold wrap. The 2012 Gold Bentley Molson was equipped with a 6.5-liter V8 engine that produced 505 horsepower and 752 lbft of torque. It could also do a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in 4.9 seconds with a top speed of 184 miles per hour, price tag? $303,981. 2019 Custom Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. When it comes to crafting a customized Lamborghini, 50 Cent always came with a premium choice. 50 Cent's Custom Lamborghini Aventador Roadster was wrapped with premium Versace blue and yellow wrap, initially, it was charcoal gray. The customized car is 50 Cent's favorite car amongst all of his collections, and it cost him $505,000. The interiors were as usual bolstered and included comfortable cushioning like any other Lamborghini. The 2019 Lamborghini Aventador Roadster is a naturally aspirated model with a 6.5-liter V12 engine that develops a speedy 740 horsepower and 509 lbft of torque. As per its third-party claims, it could do 0 to 60 in 3 seconds with a massive top speed of 217 miles per hour. 2009 Rolls-Royce Phantom Drop Head 50 Cent showcased the Rolls-Royce Phantom Drop Head with its own customized rainbow oil slick paint while he was cruising the streets of New York City. The interiors are feature-loaded, with 16 speakers connected to a Lexicon Premium Stereo for the infotainment system. The Rolls-Royce Phantom Drop Head is a royal convertible bolstered with leather and a wood-lined cabin, and it's hard not to get intrigued by looking at what's inside this luxurious ride. The Rolls-Royce Phantom Drop Head was launched with a 6.7-liter V12 engine, which boosted to 453 horsepower and 531 lbft of torque. Practically, it can do a 0 to 60 miles per hour run in 5.3 seconds and reach a top speed of 149 miles per hour. The 2009 Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead cost 50 cent about $550,000, while the base price ranged around $450,000. The Parker Brothers White Lightning When 50 cent's fame skyrocketed, he planned to escape in his jet-like supercar, which he fully customized on the show, Dream Machines. Unlike his custom Lamborghini Aventador S, this is a complete hybrid lightning jet car with Tom Cruise's Top Gun-inspired infotainment system. The Parker brothers are known for their work on a Mars rover, which drew the attention of NASA. 50 Cent loves his White Lightning, but the critics oppose it for being just a high-class toy car. The Parker brothers' White Lightning was equipped with an electric powertrain that produced up to 400 horsepower with an undisclosed torque output. Most of its specifications are not disclosed to the public, but it is rumored to have a top speed of 250 miles per hour, price tag? $1.5 million. 2005 Maserati MC12. A redesigned product from the Ferrari Enzo's chassis, this highly valuable car owned by 50 Cent is a unique car. A rare-to-find race car, while the production rate was limited to 50 quantities of the 2005 Maserati MC12. This had an upgraded performance value compared to the Maserati MC20. The interior of this rare release is quite impressive, like any other supercar. It was technically designed for road use rather than for a race car. The rare 2005 Maserati MC12 was equipped with a 6.0-liter V12 engine that produced about 624 horsepower and 481 lbft of torque. The Maserati supercar can do a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in 3.5 seconds and reach an estimated top speed of 205 miles per hour, price tag? $1.2 million. 2020 Bugatti Chiron. 50 Cent had gifted himself a 2020 Bugatti Chiron for Christmas. 
The spectacular, jaw-dropping hypercar has a polished, glossy center station with a fully aluminum chassis. 50 Cent owns a blue highlighter with a carbon fiber finish, and it looks phenomenal. With great power comes not such great connectivity, as it restricts one to getting an infotainment touchscreen but allows you to play media with outstanding music quality. The 2020 Bugatti Chiron was equipped with an 8.0-liter W16 engine producing 1,500 horsepower and 1180 lbft of torque. It can do a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint in 2.3 seconds and reach a top speed of 261 miles per hour. The Bugatti Chiron is still very much one of the fastest cars in the world, price tag? $3.2 million. And there you have it, a glimpse into the lavish lifestyle of 50 Cent, living like a billionaire. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe for more exclusive insights into the billionaire lifestyle, and until next time, live large.